It turns out back in January of 2002, Howard Stern was talking about how he went to one of his daughter's birthday parties and he was there with his girlfriend, Beth Ostrowski and his ex-wife Allison showed up with her new husband. And so John's in the studio and he's very interested in this dynamic. And so they asked John about how he felt about his ex, Karen, who he talks about all the time. And whether, you know, does Karen have a new boyfriend or a husband? And how do you feel about that? We learn a lot about John here that I forget about sometimes. So are you content with what the guys look like? <laughs> Am I content with what he looks like? Dating yeah. him, John. He happens to be a nice looking uh, guy. He's not a bad looking. He actually, you know. Listen, let me ask you something. If I was when a, you were going out with Karen, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. I'm happy. Is she to... with a guy now? Yeah. And how long did you go out with Karen? Uh, four years. All right. What, three years? Whatever. Do you care what the guy looks like who, ma- who is now with Karen? How could you compare three years to 27? Because you had the same feeling. And marriage <laughs> and children. No, but That's I, I, honestly, honestly, I'm honestly, trying to give you. I'm trying to give you a similar situation. Yeah, I guess I wouldn't care. No, I don't. I don't care that much. I, I, I'm a guy. I don't care what another Although, guy looks like. I did like when like someone told me that mm. like Karen's boyfriend was like shorter than her. I thought it was like. I, I, you you know, like that? Yeah, I did like hearing yeah. that. No, so you definitely <laughs> care on some <laughs> level. I forget that John's a short man and he's self-conscious about it. So his whole thing, when Karen got a new boyfriend, he was shorter. So he was okay with that. Have you ever been concerned about a guy's height? I must be in that weird sweet spot where I could give a fuck. Wait, if someone's taller or shorter, how tall is John? I think he's five, eight, maybe five, seven and a half, five, five, eight, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Even yeah. Three months, like, oh yeah, that's, yeah. that's not that's good. Too short. That's a little too short. That's where you got to, Figure out what size heels to wear when you go out with them. You're like, oh, he's going to be pretty upset if I wear these ones. Eight-inch heels today are not going to work. Not going to do it for him. So John is talking about if he'd be jealous or not and whether Howard should have been jealous or not that Allison showed up with the new husband. Howard says something in here. There's a lot in this. But Howard says something in here where he predicts exactly what is wrong with John's current (laughs) marriage because he is married to Susanna at this time. Honestly, if I got, got divorced with you know my wife now, and I showed up with some 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 model, I know she'd be goofing on me. Well, it depends on what you your wife is up to when you showed up. If your wife, if your wife's in love with another guy, you, you you're, you're imagining today you're married. She's still and today gonna be you, in love with you. Today you walk in with a girl. <laughs> right. Uh, if you if it was three years later, fast forward, and your wife meets a guy who actually helps her and supports her, <laughs> unlike what you do, right? <laughs> just sitting around drinking beer all day. <laughs> Holy shit. Isn't that amazing? This is 2002. If your wife meets someone who actually supports her and is a good husband, isn't just sitting around drinking beer that she has to wait on all day, she might be over you, John. It might, she might be fine with that. Let me just back that up a little bit. Howard is a magical homo, just like the other guys. (laughs) He really is. Sitting around drinking beer all day, and she's ecstatically happy. Yep. If the guy brings it down, it doesn't mean she'll be thrilled. Yeah, it's not a big deal. You got to understand that, seriously. I mean, I can't speak for Al. No, I know, but I, 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 I can tell when somebody's irked. She was not irked. See, I wouldn't want to go. I would say, you know, I don't. Well, you don't want to go, but you do it for your kid. I yeah, don't want to be in that I situation. Think you should go and Allison should go, but I don't think the boyfriend. Oh my gosh, she's not the boyfriend. It's her husband. Allison just got to life. stay home. Oh, that's right. Well, it's it's Allison's got. Right. Allison's married. I know. <laughs> she does not have her husband. Uh, I, I guess John, doesn't, John doesn't accept it. Yeah. John's not accepting the marriage. That's right. John's got some jealousy issues. So the kid whose birthday party it is has the stepdad, and in John's world, he shouldn't be allowed to come. Because it makes him uncomfortable. Oh, no wonder he's not invited to any holidays. Yeah. This is making a lot of sense <laughs> That right checks now. out. He's like, well, yeah, it should have just been you and Allison. It's your guy's kid. She's Allison's married. Of course she's going to bring her husband, the stepdad. He can wait like in the an, car. An important person in yes. a child's life. Correct. But in John's world. Not as important as a substitute teacher. Right. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> That's Changing true. lives. That's true. This is neither here nor there, but I just noticed that Cardiff is against the other wall today. He's usually against <laughs> this wall. Yes. But he's I'm actually... Probably, I'm using a new browser today. I'm having some some Chrome. I'm, I do have a faulty Google Chrome, I believe. So. <laughs> do you have a drop for that, Cardiff? So maybe it was a faulty Google Chrome. Of course I do. All right, Don't so here's the, here's the last clip I have here, uh, because this is where John reveals... He doesn't even want a new stepdad being in the picture. So he's already concerned about this back when he's starting his family with Suzanne or all these years ago. 
See, I wouldn't even want to see, you know, Howard, this is not, I wouldn't want to see, like, my kids dealing with the new husband. Like, I, you have to. You want to, because, because that, 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 that makes your kids, me. that makes your kids feel relaxed. That's your problem. Yeah. The, the, a kid needs to adjust to a new situation. Yeah. If you're going to be angry about it, no, and, you're, and you're not going to be accepting, they're not going to be accepting. Every shrink in the world will tell you that when a situation like this happens, the kid looks to the parents for reaction to see how to act. Oh, yeah. Roachy says, remember John said my wife's husband. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that tells you a lot about John's mentality and how he thinks and why he gets very upset when we talk about uh, Susanna's wedding and uh, the fact that Aaron seems like a great stable guy in that family and in that relationship. And uh, boy, John is not happy with us. Again, he says that we're trashing his kids. John doesn't watch these videos. He just hears about them. People tell him shit. Yeah, somebody said you were. So here's my challenge. Well, now he has somebody feeding him clips. Oh, good. Because here's my challenge to yeah, he... John Melendez. Um, find an example of me trashing your adult children in these uh, these wedding video speeches that we reviewed this past weekend as a bonus. Oh, show. that's a cat. That's You're going on a technicality now. Starting now. Well, no. <laughs> Start... Listen. He's talking two months ago when you were trashing his kids. I wasn't trashing his kids. John brings up two examples all the fucking time. The one example, of course, is where I made the joke that Lily looks like maybe Gary Delabate is her father. And if that was so hurtful, John would repeat. I would have forgotten it by now, but John repeats it every fucking episode. So it couldn't have been that bad if he keeps repeating it over and over again. And the other example is the one that I baited him into getting upset with me, where I said we also talk about what losers John's kids are. It's a lot more fun than you'd expect which was a joke. You can listen to the audio where I go, these kids sound like losers. We don't know anything about his kids. It has nothing to do with his kids. <laughs> John's a loser. <laughs> what was your point, Potato? I was. You were talking about how you had his audio book on your Patreon. <laughs> yes, that's... <laughs> the download for free. That's correct. Well, let me jump into yes. this because on yesterday's show, Stuttering John starts threatening me Opie style, which is always fun. And Carl, I'm not going to go there. All right? He's the bigger man. Just shut up. Like I said yesterday, I won't go there. And believe me. Again. I know everybody <laughs> in your family where they live and everything else. All right. So this is very OPS. Like, oh, you want to go there? Don't go there. Don't go there. It's like, yeah, let's go there. What are you talking about? What, what are you going to reveal about my family? What do you mean? You know where everyone's address is? Is that a threat? Yeah. What What are you talking about? What does that mean? But you got to gonna call your you got to remember. <laughs> you You got to remember. You got to put this in context. This was <clears throat> two hours earlier. He tweeted pictures of people in your family. True. Yes. I shit on him a little bit. <laughs> yeah. He took it down. So I guess he came down from it. Now he's going back up again because now yeah. he's. You want me to go where I went earlier today? Yeah, he, he, I'll he, go he, where I went earlier today. He tweeted out a photo of my wife, and he he wrote, you know, people in glass houses. So again, what do you mean by that? What does that mean? Yes, I'm married. Yes, I have parents. So what? What the fuck does that do with house. anything? I own glasses. He even goes on to say, and I don't have this clip. It's so ridiculous. He's like, would your father? Like to know what you say about me? Yeah, he comes to our live shows. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've seen him. I've seen him applauding <laughs> with the rest of the He's crowd. up to speed on the whole subject. Yeah, actually. right. We talked about it at Christmas. I, I, I was trying. I was about to super chat that at one point, but then I <laughs> yes. realized I'm blocked. Your, <laughs> of course you your are. mom's about to receive a generous amount of donuts <laughs> well, to her front door. And this is the thing that well, John likes to try to equate. So his mom's being harassed. The police were called to his house when he was at his mom's house and, you know, all these deliveries and phone calls. I have nothing to do with that. I've literally said till I'm blue in the face, don't do that. Don't fuck with people in real life. It's not funny. Did we think it was a lot of fun when he was getting phone calls over and over again? Yes, because of the way he dealt with it. Because he didn't handle it well. Because he's screaming at his mom, doesn't know how to actually pick up the phone and have that stop happening. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know where people are getting that idea from, John? Your you. good buddy, fucking Vince. Well, yeah. He keeps fucking <clears throat> sending well, shit to your house. Most is Vince. <laughs> yeah, mostly is Vince. <laughs> but anyway, this is what John. Was the, Go ahead. What was the quote that he was attributing to your father? Oh, I don't know. What was it? I don't know. It was some passage. It was almost like he found some, like, like your dad oh, had written a book. That's and there right. was something... He did say something. I had no idea he, he what it was. He didn't say it was your father, but he alluded to the fact that this was something. He, so, again, I thought he was using that as, see, Carl, I found 
I found that essay your father wrote in ninth grade. Look out. Like, it was probably a Facebook post or something. Yeah, I don't even know okay. what he was talking about. Didn't mean anything to me, but. I thought All you right. found your sister's book. This is Joel. <laughs> <laughs> this is Chad being the bigger person. And believe me, I know everybody in your family where they live and everything else. I know your father apparently is a nice man. <laughs> I don't know about that. A very nice man. Who told you that? And I would never bother him. Good. Don't. <laughs> he yeah. doesn't need to be bothered by you. I wouldn't bother your parents either, Chad. It's fine. Here are some other people I will not be bothering. <laughs> yeah, I know. I wouldn't bother I your father. I bothered him once. He hit me with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. walking well. sticks. Watch out. <laughs> Watch out for that. He goes, I know your dad's a very nice man. Well, you don't know him as well as I do. So I'll just say that. No, my dad's a wonderful guy. I'm joking, obviously. But uh, John is holding himself to a higher standard. Thank goodness for me. Because I got to hold myself to a higher standard. And you know what? I should. I should hold myself to a high standard because, let's face it, I do have morals. And I do have feelings. So, Carl, I wish your father well. Oh, this is this is acting, John. All right, mm -hmm. get ready to add this to the real. This is John wishing my uh, my father well, the guy he doesn't know. So, Carl, I wish your father well. Okay. Okay. I do. Aw. But I do. And I mean that. Why? I don't care that you're a piece of shit. Can you pause it? Yeah. I did miss this part, but five bucks, he references the ring. Oh, you think so? Maybe. Maybe. That his father got him. Yeah. That has a J on it. He's, yeah, that's, he's that's wishing, a new ring. He's wishing a guy well he doesn't know. The only thing he knows about him is that the guy's son he hates. But he's wishing him well. Well, you're so amazing, John. Wow. How, how can I thank you? I send you a card for this? Wow. I also don't understand. He's talking about wishing your father well and how great your father is. Yeah. And how he's never going to bother your father. He spent all day on New Year's Day being like, I'm going to call your mother. Did he really? I yes. didn't even see that Oh, episode. my God. That's all he did. He was like, <laughs> he was like, I'm going to call your mother and tell her exactly what you've been doing. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Everything I've been doing. And I she goes to the live shows too. Yes, she's also she the knows. live shows. He's not going to bother your father, but your mom's going to know So everything. he's a narc. <laughs> he's going to tell on you. What an idiot. This ring. I'm an adult man, John. You can yeah. call my parents and tell on me all you want. Can we all assume that this ring was something that he found visiting his mom and just took from her house? Well, he claims, because that's his uh, NYU ring. Yeah. Oh. He claims that his dad bought it for him. Okay. Because his dad He's also a went to that couldn't buy his own ring. <laughs> that can't be true, because people get fatter as they get older. Especially and John. When he graduated <laughs> NYU, point. he was a lot slimmer. Yeah, that's There's no way point. that ring that's would really fit him wow. now. I did, I've never even thought of that angle before. Those mitts yeah. are not what they used to be. We've <laughs> yeah. seen the old footage, We've John. Seen. Yeah, right. We've seen him playing guitar and Conan and stuff. His hands were not like that back then. But, yeah. uh, you know, I mean, maybe you bought the wrong ring size because you're an idiot. That's possible. Yeah. Uh, I think that it's compelling that, especially at the time that he would have gotten that ring, the tradition would be to put your last name initial on yeah. the ring. You wouldn't put yeah. J on it. No. <laughs> you put M would you also <laughs> buy one that you would wear your wedding ring on? Like, that's, uh, his, that's his left right hand. ring. No, that's his right That's his right, right. hand. Oh, is yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, I'm, it's my fault. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, if he was gay married, he'd wear it there. That's true. Okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So he's gay married. Okay. He doesn't have a class earring. <laughs> Wait, I just I just came up with something. All right. Is there a chance? And I know we're gonna start this rumor now, but is there a chance that when he says my because I've seen how they sell class rings, they're selling them at school. Sure. Right? So for him to say my father bought it for me, it's like, did he mean he paid for it? Like he filled out the form and his father paid for it? No, I think his father saw an NYU ring at a pawn shop <laughs> that had a J on it and said, hey. Yeah. hey, you know, you tell everyone that you graduated from this college. Here's a ring in case anyone asks any questions. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. too big, Dad. I don't know. Ah, you'll grow into it. <laughs> it's got a Q on it. Ah, figure it out. And by the way, John, I think your dad's a great guy. <laughs> and I'm sorry he passed. I, I feel very bad about that. I wish he was still with us. We wish him well. We Wow. Well, yeah. Because... That's not his fault. 
Wait, hold on a second. I got to back that up because that's kind of funny. <laughs> he goes, I'm an asshole, but that's not my dad's fault. Yeah. <laughs> Just playing us. I do. And I mean that. I don't care that you're a piece of shit. Because it, that's not his fault. Well, whose fault would it be? It's absolutely your parents' fault. I would think. I mean, to some degree, right? So when we were reading the um, wedding speeches. Yes. What I was thinking about was when my father got remarried. Yes. And I gave a wedding speech. Yeah. Where I read a poem by Philip Larkin called This Be the Verse, which starts out, they fuck you up, your mom and dad. They may not mean to, but they do. Mm -hmm. They fill you with the thoughts they had and add some extra just for you. That's literally what happened. That's why you're a fucking asshole. You hear that? Daddy issues, everyone. We have the dating Lucy tight box game on deck. The trifecta. Yes. It's got it all, everyone. Uh, compliment her shoes when you see her. All right, let's get back to it. That's not his fault. And I'm not going to even say his name. Oh. I'm not saying any of your family's names. No. Because I'm not a garbage not Grant, human being like not. you are. <laughs> yeah. I can only... Prove. Can you pause it? He said, my, better... he said my mom's name about five minutes before this. He's, he's like, I'm oh, not going to really? say any of your <laughs> family's names. But the garbage human being, that was my tweet to him that day. Oh, so now right. He's, yes. now garbage is human being is his new. <laughs> new Watch how many times he calls you and surely garbage human beings now. How are you not blocked on Twitter? <laughs> Why is that? Oh, he blocked yeah, okay, me yeah. after, after yesterday. I only... <laughs> Prove that I'm a better person than you by not doing. Oh, he's constantly <laughs> wiping snot. So disgusting. Not constantly, only since he's been back in California. That's true. Yes, there is. He something wasn't gross. like he wasn't as bad in in mom's house. That's true. So either his dealer lives in L.A., yep. <laughs> which is yep. some people's theory, not mine, John. I don't think that's the case. I think you live in filth. I think that you never vacuum your house because you've proven that yourself. You have two cats, maybe one. It's hard to say. <laughs> and I don't think you ever clean up. And there's probably black mold and a lot of things that are really bad for you <coughs> in that place. The Coors is probably the best thing for you oh, in that yeah. place. Oh, yeah. It's never been dusted. No, it's disgusting in there. All right. John has um, our buddy Ray DeVito on the show. And Joey C. But we're going to focus on his conversation with Ray DeVito on uh, this particular episode later on in the show. And... John has an inappropriate question about Kate Meany. Now, Kate Meany, of course, there's a lot going on with John and Kate Meany. We, I think we've broken down most of it. The fact that Kate Meany went on John's show once, and then John's been trying to get her back on the show by constantly texting her and DMing her, call me, and she's not responding, and she hasn't gone back on John's show. And for a long time, John was defending Kate Meany because they were bullying her on MLC. Something that John forgot to bring up when he went back on MLC. But they were bullying Kate Meany. And so John was like, I'm defending Kate Meany. I'm a Kate Meany supporter. I'm there for her. And then when Kate Meany stopped texting him back, he went, what the fuck with this bitch? What's going on with her? I've been nothing but nice to her. So this is Ray handling this very well. Inappropriate question. Yay, so Ray, I, so are you and Kate, uh, you know, you know we're going to be no. doing so John did the uh, finger through the hole in the hand <laughs> gesture to Ray right there. So in other words, are you <laughs> fucking? Yeah. So Ray, uh, so are you and Kate? Uh, you know, you know, we're gonna be no. doing. No. Why not? No, that's probably one of the reasons why she's probably not talking to you with talk like that. <laughs> whoa, look at John's face right there. Whoa, 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 whoa! I didn't do anything. I'm a gentleman. What do you mean? Watch how he handles this. No, 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 no. Ray, make no, no that, mistake. That, that's what's such fun this table I just have one woman on my podcast, and everyone's like, hey, which it's like, guess what? Comedians can be friends with other people in the comedy industry. And no, 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 no. Like, Ray, we know you're not getting <laughs> no one thinks yeah. you're fucking. No her. one thinks you're only John would ask that question. Yeah. Not some of us know what's going on. Not being relation. Ray, Joey C's been on my podcast. I'm not getting with Joey C. Ray. Yeah. Ray. Yeah, Ray. Yeah, we're not, we're not butt brothers, Ray. Ray, can I say something? What's Please, up? after all, it is my show. I would never be with Kate Meany. She's too young. I don't date anything younger than my oldest kid. You understand? And, well, and I told her that. She knows that. Ugh, and, yeah. You know, you know. trust me on that. That's like, you know, that's a little weird for me. No guy 
who's ever wanted to fuck a girl has told her, by the way, I don't want to fuck you. That's never happened before. So Kate Meany knows that he's not being a creep. He has rules. It's rules about ages of yeah, children. His OCD yeah. won't allow him. Of course, right. So why would Kate Meany think he's hitting on her when he's hitting on her when he's told her he's not hitting on her, obviously. Durr. I'm just practicing. But the, <laughs> but the second you're older than my oldest. <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't understand how the math works. <laughs> Good news, my oldest passed away. <laughs> She's, he's no longer my oldest. <laughs> Well, I said I said my oldest daughter, and yeah. now I have none. So, all right. So John gets a super chat where people are saying, you know, uh, people are saying that you're being pretty aggressive with Kate Meany. See, this is what they're saying that Kate Meany said. I can show you my text, right? I was no, like, I, it's all right. I don't. Yeah, I don't care. I don't get in the. Yeah. No, but the, I didn't do anything bad. But they try and like paint it like it is. All right. So. John says, I didn't do anything wrong. I am not that guy. They try to say that I was being aggressive with her, and that's why she doesn't respond anymore. Well, let's hear what Kate Meany has to say about it, because she was recently on Ray DeVito's show Please. talking about stuttering John. And who else would know better than Kate? Don't talk anymore. No, I just didn't respond to his text messages because I was responding, and then they ended up being um, excessive. Like, he just started, like, texting me excessively. And this is John's MO. Yeah. I mean, this is his thing with Vinny Paulino. They're big falling out. I text you eight times in a row. You don't text me back. Yeah. Alex Stein. I text you 20 times in a row. You don't text me back. John, your etiquette is poor. You have I, poor I was getting the call me. Etiquette. Yeah. yeah. Cardiff, you've gotten the call me. You got the call mm -hmm. me when he was live on his show. And yes. I remember you calling in. You're, like, on the road driving. You're, like, what is it, John? What do you need? He's like, see? See how he acts when he calls me? He's like, yeah, no one wants to talk to you. No one's interested in talking to you. Stop. You are exhausting. Calling. Yes, you're obnoxious. Again, something that Howard said 30 years ago. Um, and angrily, he, he was angry that I was not responding. So yeah. you don't want to respond to an angry person. Yes, he was angry on his show. Kate Meany, I've, I've been defending her, and she's not getting back. I just want to have her on the show. I'm not trying to, like, finger fuck her or anything. Yeah, right. <laughs> not until she's 25. <laughs> would that be, would that be counted as fisting? <laughs> <laughs> finger fuck the girl. <laughs> uh, cool. Nope. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Like, you know, it's just, it's not something I, it's like, oh, okay, I better avoid that and, you know, not go into that yeah that that makes sense it's like all right what i wanted to what, avoid confrontation it's like and what then, the fuck's this attitude about like i get it you know it's just and so you know i think he's a good guy like i don't know i don't know him um and he <laughs> she seems to be a herself. controversial yeah. if like, you figure did you wouldn't in this say that stupid world that i've she had to stop herself and say, I mean, he's probably a good guy. I mean, I don't know. I'm probably not, actually. <laughs> Just from my interactions with John, he probably isn't. But... Seemingly not. <laughs> so, like, figure in this stupid world that I've somehow become a part of. Um, and I just, I want to be careful. Like, you know, I want to be careful. Smart. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I get it. <laughs> Ray seems disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> How careful. <laughs> She's got her date rape shields up. Ray is booked to come on WTP uh, later this month. So we'll get to talk to Ray nice. directly about these fun things. But this is great because John is now trying to say, but I love Kate. Give him my best. And watch the way that Ray handles this. No, I agree. Oh, and Ray, just just lastly, if you haven't talked to Kate again, give him my best and say, I'm, uh, you know, believe me, I don't want to date. You know, she's too young for me. She knows that, though. But just tell her that no hard feelings. I'll, you know, I would always help her. How about that? All right. All right. Sounds good. Jules David, thank you. Ray, are you related to Tommy DeVito? No, of course not. So I love Ray's response. She's like, yeah, sure, John. I can't <laughs> wait to tell Kate Meany that you're not trying to date her. Let me get right on that. Let me text her right now yeah. for you. Hey, you know that scumbag? He said hi. <laughs> yeah. You know that mutual acquaintance we have, the one that we both dislike? He said to say hi. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for doing that for me. All right. So 
Now we're going to get into John asking Ray who he hates in the Dabbleverse. Now, Ray and Shuli and the Shuli Network had a falling out. Ray was on the Shuli Network. He left the Shuli Network. There's been uh, some drama around that. Shuli's been playing it up and all those guys on the BS show. And so, of course, John wants to pounce on this when he hears that uh, maybe some of his enemies are shared by his guests. And so he asks about me. What about, what about who are these podcasts? How do you feel about Carl? What's that? How about Carl? Are you in with Carl? Oh, I like Carl. Carl, I do like. Oh, okay. Well, I don't, I can't stand any of those guys. <laughs> Carl I'm friends with. I like Carl. I'll tell you uh, what, man. His podcast, say what you want about the Dabbleverse. Uh, WATP fans show up at shows. I've had people show up at comedy clubs and be like, oh, I, I like you on WATP, and they know me from WATP. No one's ever showed up and be like, hey, I love you on the Shuley Network. Look at John's face yeah. right now. This is not <laughs> what he wanted to do. He's like, I, like, I should not have brought up Carl. This sucks. Well, and this is exactly what he was criticizing KC for when he had Vince the lawyer on just last week, where he was like, you ask, you ask stupid questions. You yeah, get, right. You, you don't get the answer you want. Yeah. So John says, you know, WATP. Now, I remember Ray messaging me months ago. Hey, man, I just met a bunch of your fans at my show. They're really cool. So I know the people have just gone to his shows because they've heard him on WATP. And so listen to John now put words in Ray's mouth and change what Ray just said. But people have showed up and be like, hey. and how many people like, I mean, come on, Ray, don't, I mean, the, thousands get out of here. I'm going to say thousands. Like John goes, Oh, what infinity people showed up who are friends of Carl. What I a doubt child. It. What, I a what a child. What a child. What thousands. He didn't say thousands. Yeah. Why would he say? He, he hasn't met thousands of people on his show. Immediately gets mean? competitive, but he hasn't learned at this stage yep. that, that he should not ever flex anything. <laughs> He's going to lose, no matter what it is. Bony Arms John is not learned he should never fly. Never. <laughs> I'm going to say thousands. Like, <laughs> hey, like there was... Five? Five. Oh, so <laughs> those are the options. Hey, that's, uh, five or whatever thousand. the number is, it's more than... Yeah, yeah. Out. Like, five people said that they heard you. The, get the fuck out of here, Ray. Oh, Good job, not, Ray. He did not like that now. Ray, Ray is killing it on this one. I have to give him credit for this. So then yeah, it looks like Joey's having a good time with it. <laughs> I know. So by the way, if you're listening, Joey's there. Just yeah. Take our word for it. <laughs> so then John, but sorry. The, if, if John would only realize that he would, if he was doing stand up, how many tickets he would sell because of WATP. Yeah. Right. Like he's missing all those opportunities okay. right now. So that's what this transitions into. And I have a question for you, Cardiff is what is John talking about right here? It, look, he did a whole thing and telling people to go to my show. And, 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 you know, I, that maybe five people come from him. TRB10, thanks for five bucks. Asking for Vince Lawyer and Carl, uh, would you sleep with post up <laughs> now? Here we go with these trans. Like, everybody asking about this trans. Are you friends with Jim Norton? <laughs> it goes to the flexion. Every time it's like, hey, would you suck a dick if uh, she had nice tits? And he's like, ah, Jim Norton. And Norton. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what was John talking about right there where he said that Carl told people to go to his show. Maybe five people showed up. What show? Yeah, what's he talking about? I I guess the double Z. I don't I don't know. <laughs> uh, the double Z, maybe. I don't know. That we have a like, ton of people and uh, what is it, Cedar Rapids? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so conflating his own experience. My boy Penis Wrinkle comes in with a two dollar super chat and explains this to John. Uh, penis Wrinkle, I know you love me. Thanks for two bucks. WT is the only reason anyone is watching, sir. And John. Hey. I don't really give a shit. I'm the goat. All the call can talk about is me. What? This is the fifth topic on today's show, but okay, John. All we yeah. talk about is you, sure. Now, John is coming to the realization when, obviously, Ray says, people who come to my shows know me from WATP. Almost every single person in that chat knows WATP. Yeah. Or the Shuley Network, or Cardiff, it's all he talks or about. How would they not know? Right. That's the only thing he's talking about. And then as soon as Richard Ojeda and Brian Karam show up, people are just like, oh, I'm out of here. This sucks. I don't want to hear about their stupid political views. So the fact that John is pretending that no one would show up to something based on our shows, it's ridiculous. It's happening at the moment he's saying that. Thank you, Penis Wrinkle, for pointing that out. I do appreciate you doing that. Who are these podcasts? W-A-T-P. 